First-class conferences are normally a better way to manage information and to communicate with people inside your first-class system. However, there are occasions when a mail list is better suited, and this is particularly the case if you consistently want to communicate with the same group of people outside of your first-class system. In this video, I'll show you how to create and manage a mail list and how to get a list of mailing addresses in from an Excel spreadsheet. To create a mail list, open your Contacts folder and select New Mail List from the Selection button. I'm going to create a mail list for press contacts. I can start by giving the mail list a name, and then I can start adding my members. These members can be internet addresses, conferences, or people on your first class system, or even contacts in your contacts folder. Anything that you can put into the to field of an email can go into the mailing list. Watch the video on addressing messages for more information. I already have a spreadsheet in Excel that lists who I normally send press releases to. The column on the left is to remind me what the address refers to, while the second column is the actual address. Note that only the last six entries are internet addresses, while the first four are not. Let's get these into our mail list and explore further what they represent. The easiest way to get these addresses into a mail list without actually typing them in one by one is to select the addresses and copy them to your clipboard. Now here's the trick. Create a new message and in the body of the message choose Edit, Paste Plain Text. Or right click on the mouse and choose that option. Now select the pasted column and drag it onto the Members field in your mail list and the first class directory will try to authenticate every entry. You can now delete that message as we don't need it anymore. Let's compare this to our spreadsheet. The first entry is a conference. The second is an actual person on first class. The third could not be authenticated, and we know that because there's no icon beside the name. This either has to be resolved or deleted. The next entry is a contact from my contacts folder, and notice this next entry. In my spreadsheet, I had a full internet address, but here it is showing a name. The reason here is because the domain, firstclassdemo.com, is the domain used on this system, so it automatically recognizes that and changes the entry from an internet address to the local real name. The final entries are all internet addresses. I can click on OK and save the mail list to my contacts folder. Now when I create a new email, I can address it to press contacts.